Any that are severely damaged will likely sink pretty quickly and of those that are not, if they have cargo in it's likely to eventually break free and damage the container anyway, especially if the weather that caused the container loss persists. This means that we're likely left with a mix of empty containers floating high in the water and containers filled with secure buoyant cargo. Given enough time, water will penetrate causing them to float lower and allowing cargo securing arrangements to degrade until eventually they all will sink, but there will obviously be a time when the container is floating so low that they'll be lethal to passing yachts. But what if you speed up the flooding process, maybe with door seals specifically designed to break down in the presence of seawater? It should speed up the waterlogging process and subsequent sinking, but it's going to have a negative impact on millions of containers that are not lost by providing less protection to their cargo. And it's not going to actually guarantee that the container will sink anyway. As we've already said, if the container is filled with low density cargo, or even if it has integrated insulation, like a reefer container, it's going to be buoyant even when it does flood. In that case, there could even be an argument for it being safer while floating high in the water, rather than flooding it and making it harder to see. There's a similar argument when it comes to other technologies as well, like devices that allow water to flood in only if they're submerged for a period of time. Again, they will speed up the sinking of empty containers, but aren't going to help containers that are inherently buoyant anyway. So if speeding up the flooding process doesn't solve the issue, the next ideas revolve around increasing visibility so that at least passing vessels know the container is there. 